have noticed there wasn't a vlog last week. Oops. You also might notice I have really bad makeup on this side and like no makeup here but on the rest of my face. Um, I have just been taking some pictures for Avon um, of a mascara so I decided to put the mascara on and yeah I just, I'm terrible because I just like do this eye and I don't bother with the rest of my face. The phone keeps flashing. Talking about NARS concealer. Um, this is why there wasn't a vlog last week. He was poorly all week and um, it was just basically me worrying about him so I didn't upload it. He had to go to the vets on Saturday because he's had a funny tummy. He's been quiet for the last half an hour, would you believe it? Um, yeah, he had a funny tummy so I took him to the vets and they said he's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with him, he's not got a fever, um, he's not dehydrated, but he seems to be getting a little bit better, although this morning he peed in the corner, and it's the corner where all my handbags and stuff are, and all day yesterday he did nothing but cry, I mean nothing, all day, I wanted to strangle him, I mean I love him to pieces, but this is what he was like all day yesterday, I was like stop, um, nothing else has really happened, it's Christmas week this week, so exciting are you all sorted oh it'll be after christmas by the time this goes up hmm. i hope you had a nice christmas um yeah not much is happening this week oh, actually i have this is going to make you all stare now so i'm going to hold the camera a bit further up and chin down <laughs> um i'm off for a consultation on friday in barnsley um with the dental clinic to see about getting smile line braces which is nerve wracking my teeth, my top row, I'm not so much bothered about my bottom row because they're not as visible um, but my top row of teeth they're extremely like discoloured for a start um, but I am planning to go get them whitened regardless of the smile line treatment but it's clear aligners so they're like retainers and you, but you keep them in for 22 hours a day and it kind of pushes your teeth back to where they should be. Um, I'm not going to show you mine, but the front two, one overlaps. And then this one's coming back a bit, so there's like a big gap. And I sent them some pictures and they said they're pretty sure that they can do them. But um, I need to go in anywhere. They want me to go in anywhere just to make double sure. Um, and if they say yes, then in a couple of weeks or so, I will be going to get my moulds taken and stuff which would be amazing if I can get it my teeth are always something that's bothered me um, so we'll see fingers crossed um, and obviously I will vlog it and blog it and everything like that so I'm hoping as well because you have to keep them in for 22 hours a day um, so basically you only have them out for eating and each time you eat you have to take them out eat wash your aligners um, brush your teeth, floss your teeth and mouthwash so you can imagine if it's like for snacking purposes you're just going to be like do you know what I can't be asked to go through all that rigmarole for a celebration or a roses or whatever so I'm hoping they will stop me snacking at work and also stop my diet coke addiction because you can only drink water with them in anything, anything else will erode or stain them something on my nose so yeah, um, I shall take you along with me for that. Um, the clinic is in Barnsley. I'm going to throttle the cat in a minute. Percival! What? What's the matter? Have you had a bad day? Oh, I feel your pain, mate. So yes. Um, I'm currently going to go take some blog pictures. It's about... When is it? It's half past seven. Um, I bought a sandwich from Tesco because I knew I'd be taking blog pictures for about three hours and then editing them and wouldn't have time to cook. So I'm going to have my sandwich now and then start on the never ending stream of blog photos. I'm really behind. Um, I should have taken a load this weekend but I started watching the OA. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, the OA on Netflix. And that was fun. It's good. If 
you haven't started it, I really recommend you binge watch it over Christmas or New Year now because Christmas is gone when you're watching this. Right, I'm rambling. Um, yeah. Okay, bye. I might take you with me. Uh, no. I might um, like prop you up when I'm taking some vlog pictures. I said I'd do that last time and just showed you me editing them. So maybe this time you'll get to see the before the editing process. And Percy jumping everywhere. Um, it's flattering. So, yes. Um, if not, I shall see you tomorrow for another boring chat with Hayley. Friday morning and again I have been the worst vlogger ever but Percy's been to the vets again yeah well he went to the vets because he had a dicky tummy um, they said he was fine um, but then he started spraying and weeing all over the house so I had to go get him neutered so this is what we're dealing with cone of shame no you can't drag it off come on oh. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Percival. So yeah. We have the cone of shame kitty. Um I thought I'd vlog today because I'm gonna go to the dentist in Barnsley um, and see about getting my teeth um, if I qualify for getting them done. So yeah, we shall see. Hopefully I do. Um, so I'm just getting ready. I'm running rather late and our makeup's been a bit standard but I have to be careful because I only have this cardigan on naked vlogging um, but yeah so so I check in and I'll take you with me um, it's the Churchfield Churchfield Dental practice <laughs> I don't know what you call a dentist um, so yeah um, I'm going to go there. My appointment is for 20 to 12. So um, I need to finish getting ready, brush my teeth, put some highlighter on, some lipstick, and sort my bag lady hair out. And hopefully, Percy will be fine with his cone of shame. But it sounds like he's trying to get it off again. Can't vlog then because Percy was trying to get his um, cone of shame off. I'm nearly succeeding and he had it off three times yesterday um, so yeah I had to try and stop him because I didn't know we'd have got time to be putting the cone back on again because it won't fit over his head just straight you have to like and it's plastic one and it's really weird and you have to um, like undo unpick the plastic and then put it on um, and it's a ball ache but yeah just so you all know I didn't die I need to stop saying hey and hey guys. Um, yes, back from Barnsley and had a nap. My screen's gone funny. Um, yeah, I went to Barnsley to see about my teeth. Um, it was pretty bad news on the whole, but kind of good news-ish. Um, my teeth are in a pretty bad state, um, so I need to have some treatment done on them before I can get the smile line done. Um, which will take a couple of months but the company that I'm working with on the smile align treatment um, want everything to go pretty quickly so um, I don't know I need to speak to the smile line guys it's just a crap time of year because everybody's out of office and including me <laughs> I'm doing stuff but yeah we shall see 
Um, I'm going to email them. Um, but they said other than that, once my teeth are sorted out, um, then I could have the treatment. I'd be eligible to have the treatment anyway, my teeth would be. So we'll see how how quickly I can get the stuff done that I need to get done. What? My little man is still in his cone of shame. First of all, he's, at least he's stopped trying to get it off now. Percy, look. But he like keeps on putting his face in corners. And then with his cone on it, it makes him look like he's taking himself off to the naughty corner. What? And I have to, I've just finished feeding him, but um, because he can't get into his balls properly, he keeps knocking them over. So when he has the wet food, I've been, um, ah, I've been feeding him with a spoon. Yes, and then I have to, oh, look. Oh, you don't hate me then. I have to clean out, I then have to wipe his bowl out because he's um, corn out because he gets food all in it. Oh, you've had a hard time, haven't you, mate? Yeah, you're badly done by. Turn this light up a bit. Oh, a little hickey up. A little hickey up. Yeah. Mummy's little baby. So yeah, it's both good and bad news. Um, so, but I'd rather them say, well, actually, you need to sort X, Y, and Z out first before you can have the treatment done, rather than just do the treatment for the sake of doing it and it making my teeth worse or um, stuff like that. But before the dentist checked me over, um, I was speaking to uh, one of the other ladies there called Susie who's lovely and she was going through all like the before and after pictures and the options that you've got and some of the results that they've had are amazing so not just from straightening but because they don't just do the smile line they're an actual dentist as well they were building up gaps in people's teeth um like chips, like I've got a chip on the front of mine, so they were saying, and they thought I could have it done straight away, that once the treatment's over, they assess how your teeth are aligned and how they look, um, and they can build up little chips with um, composite, they can file away like um, rough edges at the bottom, because of how people's teeth come to lie, and um, before smile align means that different stuff can happen to the teeth like the front of mine um the very middle one of the very middle edges is chipped slightly but you can't notice it that much at the minute because my it, my teeth overlap um obviously if they were to get straightened out then you'd notice that look at him it's so cute also, my hair's starting to look a bit orange again. What are you doing, pudding? Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Yeah. Do I just want to have a clean of myself, Mum? And Papa Snuggles. He's been feeling so sorry for himself because he can't sleep properly. So I've made him like a little makeshift bed there for him but last night he was using if you can see uh there we go it's like a little circular tube thing focus camera god damn it and he was using that and he was like laying over one side of the tubes with his belly and then resting his cone on the opposite side of the tube um but yeah there's somebody in the flats across and they're watching me vlog <laughs> and it's really awkward. You don't like it. I forgot to shut the curtains. Um, BRB. So I actually just cut the camera off and then after a couple of seconds I was like, do you know what, it's my house, I'll do what the bloody hell I want. It's not as if you can see my face. Um, so yeah, Percy is feeling very sorry for himself. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my, with the state of my skin. So yeah, that's been today. Um, back home now, it's about half past six. So I'm going to, um, I actually bought a book today when I was in the train station. I couldn't find any that I really, any new ones that I really fancied. Um, so I got um, a street cat named Bob, which I'm really late to this, I know. Um, I wanted it when it first came out. I remember seeing it on the Amazon bestsellers list or something. and But I just never got around to getting it. And then my auntie got to meet um, James, the guy, and Bob, the cat, the other day in um, at a book signing. And I saw it and I was like, I need to get it. Because I want to watch the film as well. But I always prefer to read books before watching films. Who's going out of focus? Stupid camera. A stupid old camera. So I'm going to read a couple of chapters of this. Then I'm going to open a bottle of Prosecco and wrap some Christmas presents. What? So yeah, should be fun. I got the cutest wrapping paper. Can you see it? It's like little knitted Santas. It's so cute. I think it's from Sainsbury's. Um, and there's some presents there. And no, they are not giant rabbit poos. They are Belgian chocolate truffles. One's whiskey, one's brandy. Which I got my stepdad or my brother. But I think they must have melted in the... Um, in my suitcase because... Look, all the chocolate's a bit... It's been so difficult not to eat them. <laughs> because I'm a greedy bitch. <laughs> um, and there's chocolate lying around the house. Yeah, then there's other stuff for other people. My mum's isn't there, but my mum's a funny one because usually every year I make her a giant massive hamper up of loads of beauty stuff. My little bits that I buy for her throughout the year and stuff. Um, and this year she's like, no, no, I don't want that. I get enough stuff from you anyway. Beauty stuff, which she does, but I've never heard her say she's got too much. So she really wanted a bottle of Pinkster's gin. It's a favourite gin. It's one of my favourites too. So I bought her a bot massive bottle of it. Um, which is me sitting in the house and it's been impossible not to drink. It's in the fridge actually. But I messaged her the other day. I was like, oh yeah, I've just been and picked up so-and-so's presents from Boots. Um, I got yours too. She's like, sent back um, loads of angry face emojis. Boots don't sell Pinkster's. Where's my Pinkster's? Um... It's like, no, I couldn't find any stockists that, that had any left, so I just got you some stuff from Boots. So she's not impressed, but I think she thinks I'm also lying. So I'm going to find a box, a pretty big box, and put the gin in that, in like a load of wrapping and bags and stuff. And um, I might put in a Boots bag, actually. Oh no, Percy pissed on that one. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to wrap the box with the gin in, so... When I take the present up on Christmas morning, she'll be like, this isn't Jane. What are you doing? <laughs> it's like tails here, curled up. I don't know if you can tell because of the bot cat. Oh, it's the only way you can clean your tail. Is it? No, what be licking your man parts? No man part licking. Mm, you little cone head. You little cone head. I've been trying shit for about 15 minutes now. I better stop. Um, I better get wrapping these presents as well. Percival, put your little Percy away. Yeah, put your little Percy away. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to go. Um, I'll probably check in with you tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, on Christmas Day. Um, yeah. Bye. Happy Christmas Eve, everyone. <laughs> Although it's probably way past Christmas Eve by now. But, um, 
I thought I'd share this with you while he's a tiny little bit quiet. But look, he's got his Christmas collar on. You can't really see it that well. I'll try to get um, a shot of it when he's stood up. But it's like um, a, a jester's collar that's all like fluffy. So yeah, he's going to go to the vets now. Well, in about 20 minutes when my mum picks me up to take him. Um, just for a little check-up to see if he's healing and whatnot. I'll speak of the devil, she's on the phone now. Hello? Alright, then I'll put him in his um, basket. Alright, bye. Oh, she's, she's coming now, so um, I've got to sort everything out. But look at him. He's so tired from all his festiveness. Been too festive, right? Um, probably see you when I get back. I'm dying. Um, I just got back from the vet, and as I was taking Percy down, I live um about seven floors up in my apartment building, and the lift was broke. Just fine on the way down. It would have been fine on the way back up, despite having Percy in his cage to um focus. Um, and it would have been fine on the way back up despite having Percy in his cage but um, I also had a lot of parcels from my mum's house so it's about six big boxes um, there was a big massive silver bag thing as well so I had to get that up the stairs all them up the stairs along with Percy in his cage and then we got to the fourth floor and one of the um, boxes broke how he was holding it um, and I noticed on the big silver bag which you can, can you see it in the hallway Percy's next to it focus that giant thing oh yeah Percy in his little cone and his little Christmas thing let me zoom you in so oh oh my god oh tins <laughs> So yeah, I had to get out of the stairs and I noticed on the silver bag, it's not even for bloody me, it's got my mum's name on it. Um, so I've hiked that up like seven flights of stairs for no reason because it's not even mine. Um, but yeah, we have, we have some blogger mail. So this is all that I've carried up. Um, yeah, along with Percy in his little thingy my bob. Um, so shall we do some blogger mail? Yay! Um, this looks good from Tropic. Uh, can I get into it? This did come in a box with a load of lavender and stuff in it. But for the sake of making it easier on my life to get up the stairs, I took it out of the box. And plus, um, I hate lavender. But this is the So Sleepy Collection. So Sleepy Pillow Collection, which I have trouble sleeping, so it sounds perfect. I'm like totally ruining the pretty box that it's in. We have a pillow mist and a temple roller, I think that says. I'm assuming the lavender scent. Essential oils of chamomile, lavender and rosewood. Hopefully it's not really lavendery because I hate lavender. Um, I'm trying not to get my dress on stuff. We should just like pop you here. Is that that good? <laughs> I'll do an unboxing like this. Where is this from? Oh, I think these are my glasses from... Um, oh, I think I had my dress on. Um, I chose some glasses from a company that I'm doing some work with. And how cute are they? Oh, wow, that was loud. Um, I couldn't remember my prescription. Let's have a look at them on. Oh, they're super cute. I like them. I didn't think they'd suit me. Um, but I couldn't remember my prescription. This camera is getting worse and worse for focusing. Where is it, the glasses? But I couldn't remember my prescription because it's been about two years since I had it um, done. So they're steaming up because I'm really warm. Um, so I got just clear lenses in them and then I will go get my eyes tested again and get a new prescription put in them. But let's go back to opening stuff. At the right angle, I just dropped something. Christmas cards, he thinks. This is from 
one of the brands that I work with that generally do the sleek stuff. And oh, oh wow. It's a giant sleek box of tricks. It is really good. However, I think I have all of these. So I do have a little a little version of this to give away from sleek. Um oh how beautiful is that? Oh it's slightly broken. Oh that's a shame. So that would have been lovely for a giveaway because I actually have all of these. Except that and that. I don't know. I'll have to see and sal see how salvageable it, salvageable it is. Um, and if it is, then I can add that to the little giveaway that's coming after Christmas as a little January blues pick-me-up. We shall see how bad it is. Scissors! Percy loves parcel time because he just gets to read everything. Oh, this was supposed to come a few weeks back. Oh, this is a shame because it was for Christmas. I have no idea what the postman's doing with things because this is all. Can you see? It's all out of shape. Hmm. It's a vintage cosmetic company, Tools of the Trade Tin, which was meant to be for a Christmas gift guide, but it didn't arrive in time. Um, so. Move, Percival. Move. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't. Oh, this is more vintage cosmetics company, and I'm pretty sure this is a 12 days of Christmas advent calendar. Which um, traditionally, anyway, the 12 days of Christmas is after Christmas. Oh, I'll fall down, Percy. It is the beauty salon 12 days to a beautiful Christmas from the vintage cosmetics company and I'm glad that would have looked so pretty over next to my little M&S one in my messy house. Sad times, what are you doing Percival? Oh it is, <gasps> can we just, oh my god you can see me in the reflection, I look like hell. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What's in it? What's in it? Oh my gosh. My gosh, best mail ever. It's a shade and light contour palette, which I've heard is perfect for like really light pale skins. Um, and the shade and light contour brush and case. Oh, so exciting. A little card. Oh, and a little book. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, I hope that lipstick's in it. Oh, then we have, oh my God, let me lift it up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Then we have the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, the Tattoo Liner, um, a Studded Kiss Lipstick, and a studied, studied Kiss Lipstick again. Oh my God, please tell me these are like amazing shades. What shade? Lolita. Oh, that looks so pretty. It was like the perfect brownie 90s nude. I feel like I'm getting cold. Um, then we have Magic. Oh, God, I'm like pee my pants excited. Speaking of pee my pants excited, Percy's doing a wee right now. I hope you can't hear it. <laughs> and then we have Underage Red. Which is meant to be like the perfect red. Although there was a lot of controversy about the name. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you. To the agency, you know who you are. Oh my god, I also want that makeup and that hair. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it goes in... The, the cases for this have... Um, the cases for the brushes are like little coffins which is amazing and it will match my um, Lunatic Labs cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette perfectly which are shaped like coffins and then this is like the most beautiful packaging ever I'm going to keep this 
my god, I'm so excited. Hi everyone, where's Vlogger Ever's back? Um, I totally forgot to take my camera yesterday, um, which was Christmas Day. Um, I've got mascara all on my face because I slept with my mascara. Um, yeah, I totally forgot to take it with me yesterday um, to my family and stuff. Um, yeah, you missed out on Christmas. Although it was nothing um, like, excuse me, majorly exciting. Obviously, it's Christmas, so it's going to be exciting a bit. But um, so I went to my mum's, got picked up about um, eight o'clock from here. So we went there, and um, I helped sort some veg and stuff out for the dinner. We swapped presents. Um, I went to my grandma's, we swapped presents there with um, other members of the family because we all kind of gather there. I saw my niece and nephew, which is lovely to see them at Christmas because that's what Christmas is all about. And then what else did we do? And came home, had dinner with my grandma, and dinner was amazing. Mum cooks perfect, perfect Christmas dinner. So we had Yorkshire puddings to start. Um, and we had main usual dinner. I had a corn roast, which was pretty nice actually. It tasted slightly of turkey. Not the texture of it, but um, then what did we do? Yeah, and then we had um, I had prosecco trifle that my mum had made, and then I came home had a nap I needed a nap after all that food and then me and Percy watched um the rest of the crown last night I have one episode to go today so I'm going to do that after editing this vlog um I shouldn't really actually be vlogging on this vlog right now because it's Monday and I should be on a new one but um I thought I'd catch up and properly sign off also how cute is this that I got so I hope you've all had a fabulous week um and have had a brilliant Christmas. Um, to yeah, I keep on wanting to say today I'm gonna do this, but you don't need to know that. I'm sorry for scaring you with my terrible skin and um, still with my makeup on. Although it's only my eye makeup, I took my face makeup off. I'm only half a tramp. Um, so yes, I hope you had a brilliant Christmas. And um, yeah. I will see you in next week's vlog, which I'm going to start now. <laughs>